sacks have told the story so far. And you got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. On the move from inside his own 20. And the return man has no place to run, no place to hide, and a place to be tackled. He'll start this third quarter with a run. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's been that kind of day for this offense, right? It seems like anything they're dialing up just simply isn't working. But at this point, David, I don't know if it's even worth trying to run the ball. Probably not. You're getting destroyed right now. Nothing has gone your way. And when you're down this much, I, I think the running game is used sporadically, not as a staple. Let's throw this football around and see what they have. They make the stop, but not before he takes a chunk out of what they need to move the sticks. Our coach said you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. They'll try the right side. And they're able to get a third down stop here. See if they go for it on fourth. The Canes will bring the punt team onto the field. On the return, it's Chapman. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. The Marshall offense makes its way back onto the field. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute the game. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. He turns that loose down the right side. Offense on the move. A big play there. Gets it to the 30. And a big reason why this team has the lead in this game is because of plays like that. They know they've got firepower throwing the ball. They've got the dudes outside that can make things happen. You saw it in the first half, and you see it here again early in the third quarter. Now on second down after the incompletion. Coming after it. Takes a hit as he fires. Wide open downfield. He's there to make the stop, but not before. He sets up this offense first and goal from the seven. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goal post trying to defend their own end zone. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Defense trying to come up with a stop on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. Touchdown, Marshall! And the pummeling has started. And after starting the season 0-1, they knew they needed more from their offense in this game. They just had to find ways to make more explosive plays, and that's what they've been able to do. They've executed at a tremendous level. I really like the quarterback play and the leadership that he's showing. And because of that, they look like they're going to get back to 500. Let's see where this team can go. Here comes the Hurricane offense looking to gather a little more strength. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Not much there. They'll give him one to the 14. Third and 10, still back up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. From the gun, wants to pass. And the quarterback goes down all the way back in his four-yard line. And the Hurricanes will send out the punt unit. Three and out, they got stuck in reverse. They hope the punt can bail them out. Bringing it back, it's Chapman. Returns like that are why you don't send